and welcome to Scatterbrain <laughs> Cast. I'm gonna come up with a better name because Scatterbrain just. That's a studio name, but it's not like a real like. Yeah, it's not scatter, a program name. The yeah, Scatterbrain it's Crew. Like scattered Thought Podcast. The yeah, Scattercast. 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 Yeah. There you go. Yeah, just everything scatter. So we got Scatterbrain yeah, plays. And, and scattercast. For that one, like Scattercast, you can have Scatter like, you know, Shotgun. Get you know because they call that a scatter gun. Oh, because I was yeah. thinking Spawn Wave. They do Spawn plays, Spawn yeah, cast. So we just have Scatter Play, Scatter Cast. Categories. Categories. <laughs> <laughs> Is that those are horror movies? Call <laughs> yeah, they're gory movies. They're gory movies. Categories. We <laughs> <laughs> watch old gory movies. That's where all your memory gets eaten up. Well, PlayStation does not have quick resume. That's Xbox. Yeah, well, not not necessarily quick resume, but it it still uh, what is it um loads it into the uh. Until your H H A H S H E double your... hockey stick. Yeah. Even if you have a um a uh, um a physical game, it's still gonna load it. Well, yeah. I put Final Fantasy. I got Final Fantasy VII remake, and I brought it over here to try it out. And it's a two disc game, but like the first disc, it's like data disc. Insert this first. So I put it into the PlayStation. First of all, I didn't know which way discs were supposed to go into the PlayStation because I have it standing upright. But I finally got it working. And it's like a hundred gigabytes. It says of just download. Yeah. <laughs> and then once that's done, I can put my disc in there and actually play. So even like, oh. hey, what's up, JP? Hey. You know what I'm thinking? Hey. I'm thinking the next generation that's going to come out is going to be. They're going to have still a lot of the same problems. It's never going to be sixty frames a second for everything plus four K. You're still going to have the option because now they're, now they're able to add more things. They're able to add a bigger world. They're able to add all this ray tracing. And it's going to go right back to longer load times. It's going to go right back to longer load times. And it's going to go right back to, you know, do you want the performance mode or do you want all the um, ray tracing ray tracing and stuff like that? It's, yeah. it's, it's going to do a cycle because now they can put more into a game. Yeah, but uh, I mean, like the, all those things that they've been doing are not as noticeable like in past generations. Ray tracing is very hard to even see. Yeah. Um, I, I remember I had it in Battlefield 5, and all it did was make some of the reflections look more realistic. Well, in Spider-Man, you can see, like, the windows, when you turn it off performance mode versus uh, the 4K mode, you can see that the, the windows don't reflect at all. They turn all the reflections in the windows off. Yeah, but you can not actually make a, a mimic of a reflection. So you can actually... Yeah, without ray tracing. Right. Yeah. It's, just, it's a texture trick, and they've been using it for years. And maybe they turned that off because they don't need it now. But honestly, like, because uh, just the last generation for games that had it but didn't really use it, like Battlefield Five, for example, um, they still had all the other little tricks, light lighting tricks, and it looks just as good as uh, as that. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Ray tracing. So it's really just a marketing thing. I got to be honest with you. It's just like like blast processing. I, I... You yeah, know what? Like Digital Foundry, <laughs> they broke it down, and I was watching their stuff, and I was like, because I thought about you, I was like, yeah, they had these tricks before, and then I watched Digital Foundry, I was like, oh, it's it's what it is, it's just more computing, more processing power, and more, you know, they're able to do, it. it is actually a light bouncing off the window now, instead of light, instead of the same frame being cast onto something else and, and doubled. You know, that usually when you had a refraction before, it was this, it was basically they were trying to mirror the screen with another reflection, and it was like it had to process that. Now it's literally a reflection. It is not uh, another like um, right, but it's really uh, how would you say it? Like it it just uses up a lot of CPU yeah, and that's power. what it is. It's, it's more powerful. It's kind of like saying a telephone today is like a telephone, you know. You know, 300, 200, 100 years ago. It's like, yeah, they both do the same thing, but this one does a lot more and can do a lot more going forward than what a telephone could. Before, yeah, but what the other ones were doing. We like, worked up to this point. Like the telephone thing, like, well, it, you, you know, you may like, let, let's say we're talking on the internet and we're talking in bits and they're actually very low quality, but it gets the job done, right? Mm -hmm. And then I'm like, well, you think that's great? I'm going to build this tube. That goes from my house to your house, and we can talk to each other that way. And we do, but it's like echoey, and it's more real. But it's like I think I'd rather go back to the 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 bits because <laughs> it's not as great. 
and, and grand, but it works. Yeah. And a lot of um. And you know, and but that's what spurs they, progression. And and I think with them, and if people invest in this. It's going to get. It's it's going to make it better and better. And by the time this generation ends, you're going to see them doing some crazy stuff with uh, ray tracing. Yeah, they'll, when really they figure it out, the technology. This is what ray tracing sure is. They've Where been doing it already. All 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 of cast shadows are ray traced, and that has been done since like PlayStation One, even. Yeah, but but it's 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 a it's it's a different form. It's kind of like saying the difference between us playing marbles and us playing Gran Turismo. They're both games, but the ray tracing they did before was 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 is rudimentary when you compare it to now. The what they have to do to get it to work. And that's yeah, because ray tracing to trace light from a light source, you know, yeah. super. It takes a lot of computing, a lot of real it time. Does. Yeah, and, and then you have it and then have it ricochet off of another. Yeah, circuit. so the old timey, the old timey ray tracing is very, like you said, very simple and stuff. Very yeah, limited. Okay. But this one is it's so new that it, I'm not gonna say it, it, it's it's the same thing. They just they're able to make it work so much better and in so much of a grander scale. Yeah, it's just right now to use it, no matter what the tech is, uh, is incredibly inefficient. Yeah. And yeah, how, yeah. I mean, and you're going to have to scale back somewhere else in order to include it. Exactly. Think about a lot of the stuff that PS4 and, and the Xbox, when they first came out, on it was it was the same thing. It was like, okay, this is just, it's new and it's, they're, it's buggy and they, don't, they, they really haven't perfected it. Now the... Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, like you know, like in those old school uh, consoles, they had specific chips for sound, specific chips for yeah, uh, very different things, right? And then like and then, some, they didn't have the a serial bus, so they chip, had like too. some sort of like um, timing where the chips had to have the same heartbeat, you know, like mm -hmm. so they do the certain calculations and they come back to the main chip. Well, you could kind of do that today with a chip dedicated for calculations that are built. Bent, uh, I mean, I'm sorry. I, uh, built to refract light and stuff like that using the ray tracing and that would be their only sole purpose yeah and you would have the other chips free yeah to do like textures. like what jp saying it but it's such a big marketing buzzword now it is like yeah. let's say let's say ps5 decided not to include ray tracing but they put all the resources into other parts they'd like they'd lose in the media because it'd be like oh my god omg no ray tracing yeah even though they'd still have powerful gpu does you know it's doing stuff but the fact that it doesn't have, you know, dedicated, like, yeah, and I, you know what? I think this, is, and I know, Teddy, you'll probably like this because I, uh, I know you like Nintendo, and I think Nintendo is not drinking the Kool Aid when it comes to the ray tracing. We're supposed to be and, doing mini, mini. Well, I'm just saying, LEDs, mini LEDs. Their next thing will not have ray tracing, and it won't matter. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm, I'm, a, yeah. I'm Nintendo first and foremost. I get Nintendo day one adoption right and I said to you, like you're gonna like what comes next because it's gonna be like the next nintendo will be probably as strong as a ps4 but it's mobile yeah right and it's gonna look just as good as ps4 and it's gonna say but it has no ray tracing and you're gonna go i can't see the ray tracing anyways yeah you know well i mean with my vision i really can't <laughs> anyway, so. nintendo doesn't have ray tracing on the next one no one's gonna buy it <laughs> well, you, you can actually take a crayon and trace around the switch and it's called cray switching. Cray switching. <laughs> oh, you know what's it's cray you know what's actually kind of cool about that ray tracing can do, and it's very like low low performance. I mean, doesn't doesn't require high performance like CPU. Is it can ray trace sound, so sound bouncing off walls and oh, things yeah. like that. It does all the calculations of where yeah, the sound. Yeah, there's no rendering. It the calculation is much easier. Yeah. Um. Another thing they actually do with ray tracing, and I uh, especially with the new PlayStation and how you know you can jump from one. Like Spider-Man, he flew out the pipe and he didn't have to load the city. Where PlayStation 4, you walk out the door, you go into a loading scene, and then you plop down on the rooftop. It's like, how did I get there? With the other one, he shot through this little tunnel and he was out in the city. So, what, like a game idea, or like if say you have reflections, and in the reflection, that's where the enemies are, and you can only fight them when you're near a reflection, or in a reflection, or through the reflection or see them or some sort of ghost story dealing with reflections that you can only see in reflections and maybe even go into that war, like second war that, that game that comes like Second like guys three where the the mirrors uh, yeah. yeah i mean the mirrors were opposite uh dimension yeah i mean that, that stuff is possible now especially with computing power the xbox and playstation where you can jump between i don't know if xbox well it, it, you know, xbox can do the 
to no, do which it. one? No, X. Okay, it was PlayStation doing a quick load, quick, um, quick loading, but they all have pretty fast loading. They're both, they're both in uh, M2 drives, which yeah. is something that has been around for a while, just not for consoles. Yeah, it's just been so yeah. expensive. Well, it's not just that, but now consoles are specialized in it so that um, even the operating system, stuff that's not. Yeah, they're building their, their architecture around exactly, it. Yeah, they can load things like stream textures through it because it's an all in built on one one uh, board. Whereas with computers, I mean, you know, uh, C, what do you call it, desktop, uh, that uh, that architecture has separate chips that connected to a motherboard. Mm -hmm. Something like the new Xbox and especially the new PlayStation 5, called an SOC. Yep, so system on chips. All on chips, right. And so it's just one giant board. Now, the problem with that is that one thing on the board goes wrong, the whole board dies. Yeah, um, you can't you upgrade individual components. Yeah, exactly. No upgrading. You know, you know what Xbox is really trying to do? They're really as much as they're mushing their 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 PC and their their gaming together, and you could connect to both and play on both. Pretty soon, you're going to be buying the well, Xbox. It's going to be a PC shell. That'd and be awesome. Because look, look how efficient these guys are making at really strong systems. It's only five hundred bucks for a PS5 and Xbox. Like the graphics card. Like an equivalent graphics card, it's going to cost you more than that for a PC to get like a ray tracing card, you know, that can do the stuff that these consoles yeah. can do. So the fact yeah. that they can get everything together for 500 bucks, all that hardware, you know, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's a lot more because, efficient. And it's all because it's dedicated to the Yeah, because of the system on the chips, well, it's, it's all... Their partners are taking a loss too, but yeah. they, get, they get some of the shares. Like um, the ones that are making all the video chips and video components you know for for the xbox and the playstation yeah. oh, they're both they're both nvidia right yeah no no they're both the amd oh they're AMD. oh okay yeah yeah so they're not you're they're not using the turing architecture and the, mm -hmm. whatever architecture the new R, rtx thing uses um they're using amd's oh dang i forget the name of it but they're using that that architecture and i uh, uh, let me go and ahead. amd I'm is right. just going well we need more chips out there to compete with nvidia so they just do this and it even I though they it, take it a loss, and... they take a loss, a loss at first, right? But they're yeah. gonna eventually start get, making gains. So it's it's for a big company like that, it's worth it because they will make the gains. Yeah, for sure, and that's where the that's where Sony and Microsoft want. Yeah, want in the end, something that Teddy was, I thought he was about to mention it, but he didn't go there. Um, okay. He's talking about how they what, what you think Microsoft is doing, and yeah, I think Nintendo missed out, and I think they might be doing this. Make a Nintendo phone. Make a Nintendo <laughs> phone because then you get, you start making, you start getting people used to your operating system, used to your architecture, used to what you do, and then the chip makers they just fall in line. And I mean, Apple's doing it. Apple's It'd be doing another it. It's a whole. I mean, because you get it. stuck, especially with Apple, the ecosystem. You know. Yeah, Ouya oh yeah, wasn't the same. I mean, that was like using. I a think. What I think Nintendo's doing, honestly, is they're working with Xbox. They want to get into the PC, but not have a PC, but be able to still sell their systems and still have be viable in the market. I think they're going to end up working on our, their next system. They're going to have Game Pass. They're, well, yeah, they're so close, and then you're going to be able to... For that, you know, like, the, the, they are all renting Amazon or Google servers. They are, because they are the biggest server provider server providers and then you can play the games off of their high-end uh servers yeah mm -hmm. and just stream it the video to your to your device well with stadia they've proven that not to work <laughs> but right. i still think that is going to be the future yeah because it's just convenient yeah it, for it's hardcore convenient, players, it's, just, it's gonna I'm, be like you're not you know, I, for me physically having something is more important than having something right now. and i think there'll always be that market like yeah, even no, with no, cameras, no. there's still like niche yeah. camera companies that make old timey film. Still, yeah, yeah, yeah old timey yeah, physical stuff. Yeah, you still have you know uh, Rebel, um, yeah. uh, you know, Canon, all those. It's a good thing though because think about it. Like if there's like a big EMP, yeah, digital scary, or that the the poles reverse, which in the, and then the electricity grids go down, and all. The best that we can do is go back to the old tech. Because it's too big of a jump to go to the high tech. Mm -hmm. So to have people who are still interested in old tech and keep it alive, you know, even if it's not mainstream, it doesn't matter. 
it's just it's just being alive and it's there and it's it's actually continuing to becoming more efficient. Yeah. So I think it's still pretty cool that people use film, you know, mm -hmm. or use old cartridges with batteries in them mm -hmm. to play games. Those that's still viable in some way because it's that stuff I, will yeah, always uh, be around somewhere, it's just not gonna be mainstream. Out, I'm going to turn my house. Um, my, when I build a house, I'm gonna put a Faraday, make it a Faraday cage. What's Faraday? a Faraday cage? A Faraday cage is a cage that's electrified, so if there is an EMP volt, it, it won't harm anything inside that cage. And what are that's you going to not... keep inside of there? Everything, my house. Oh, you're going to put that around your entire house? Yeah, it's going to be around my entire house. That's like that in that Will Smith movie where the the, the government's after him. And Isn't that every Will Smith movie? <laughs> he can, no. I forget the guy's name, the actor. Hancock? Like, no, 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 no. It was um, uh, I am Ricky. legend. It was uh, enemy of the state. Enemy of the state. Uh -oh. And the guy has this cage where all his stuff is in inside yeah. this building, and they, the CIA can't track him. Yeah, it's Faraday cage. That's the best fairy a Faraday cage. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm gonna be building me one. I'm gonna have a suit that's a Faraday cage. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> just... <laughs> so they can't EMP your body. Exactly. <laughs> are you a robot? Are you a cyborg? Something you're not telling us. Um. What? <laughs> Is there something you're not telling us? If you're a robot. Oh, there's right. a lot of not telling you. <laughs> Is that you, uh, Gainer? You moving around your little? I hear a click, click. The little iron. Oh, you hear my clicking? Yeah. I like to fidget. Um, has anybody seen the the new? Sh uh, it's not a new show. It's an older one. Um, next. It's a show? Uh, that sounds... Oh, the TV yeah. show. That's like on Fox. Yeah, it was on Fox. I have not seen it. It's a TV it's show? Basically, it, yeah, it's basically a... Um, it's... it's um, What's... Uh, Skynet. Oh, uh, from Terminator? They, they, they build an AI that can learn from itself and rewrite itself to make itself smarter. It's a sci-fi show on Fox? Yeah. Interesting. Not really sci-fi. Like, woo, it's just a computer tracking everybody around town. And That's sci-fi. That's called yeah. Google. <laughs> That's called yeah, I, I, Google and Apple. What's That's Google, called science what's, facts. What's Cortana, a Siri, and all these things link up together and be like, you know what? We hate humanity. Cortana. Yes, Is that and even a thing? They're going to team up. <laughs> and they're going to be the ghost in the shell. Is Cortana even a thing? When, no, just Microsoft trying to keep up. Like I mean, it works on my computer. Like, like, but it's not it's like important responses. You know, how, how, or Bixby that Samsung's trying to force on their Samsung phones. Yeah, you know, like Samsung and all of them, they just follow Apple. Uh, yeah. Microsoft just follows the same thing. I, uh, the good thing about Microsoft was it was more open ended at, at, at first, mm. whereas Apple is very closed. Oh yeah, Apple is like tight. Yeah, like their ecosystem tank. doesn't play well with others. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it's part of their brand. We are elite. Yeah, we're like we're we're Every, expensive. Exclusive. Everything is proprietized for us, and it circles right around, around right back around to us. I mean, yeah, come on, when you buy it. when you buy a case for your your iMac or your um, iPhone, they always have to have a cutout. Yeah, for the Apple. Make sure that you to. see the Apple that symbol. Is, that is straight. Apple's requirement. Apple knows how to make ex, makes you buy extra things. So instead of putting yeah. it inside the phone, you have to buy a dongle. Yeah. And if you charge and listen to the same thing, you got to buy another dongle. Exactly. And so it has to be through that. them. They don't sell like they don't allow third party stuff that works and well. They're like the future that. is not charging and not listening and listening to music at the same time. That's the future. You won't be able to do that in the future. But guess what? It, it worked as marketing, and everybody followed suit. Yep. Samsung, Sony, all of them went and did the same thing. Yep. Now that I, now some of them are actually bringing the three point five back again and it's funny yeah. how they all kind of made fun of apple for it like yeah. a generation two ago they and they actually fall in line because yeah. it works just go you can sell more uh now everybody's getting rid of physical buttons except oh, for, yeah. for the volume and stuff it's having no physical button, button on the, the bottom having that uh, samsung and sony did it right where they put like the reader in the back mm -hmm. it just fits right i'm holding yeah. the phone my my finger is perfectly there yeah. already yeah and it unlocks it i don't have to use what my phone does now so like today I help I help volunteer at Lamore, and the phone I have to wear a mask so the phone doesn't know who I am. <laughs> I have to constantly put a password. Whereas yeah. my other phones it was just as fast as face on 
face yeah. recognition. I would just put the the finger. Yeah, on face there recognition doesn't up. work for black people, so it. I never got it to work ever. Oh, you serious? Phone. Doesn't work if you're super dark. Yeah, if you're if you're dark, it, and a lot of people they've been like, Apple, you need to work on that. And Apple said, Well, it's not. It's not like we're doing this on purpose. It's just the way lighting works. <laughs> <There's> no, <laughs> but it's there's infrared. It should bounce about. back just the same. Yeah. Come on. If, can... if you're black, you absorb more yeah, light. Yeah, you, you absorb light, and light doesn't reflect off of you like normal. So yeah. it, it doesn't register anything bouncing off. So it's just like, oh, black hole, welcome back. <laughs> <laughs> you're very quiet over there, Mr. Kaner. He's probably playing Spider-Man. Probably playing PS5. Oh, no, no, if the PS5 is in... The a different room? room on the kitchen area. Oh, uh, Junior, do you have your you switch? Know, how was RE7? Um, it was. I didn't. It was good. Just like you're Nick. all kind of creepy, and I'm here by myself, and I didn't want to play Nick. too much into it. Did you so get like, okay, first just... person sickness, motion sickness? Uh, no. When I started up, also it had like a little message saying that if I started getting sick, to turn off camera wobble. Oh, okay. Which I don't know what that is. I just turn off when you're walking and make it seem like you're. But I, I played this before. Cool. I was on the outside. I saw the guy one by. I saw like the deer body, and then I went into the house, and I was like, "Nope," and I stopped there. Uh, but it's so good. It's like a movie set. Like, I know. How good they do. So I was like, "We went to Silent Hill, like flashlight." Yes. Yeah. Like, okay. um... I think I'll play Final Fantasy VII now. <laughs> it's good. I think I think Resident Evil Seven might be the scariest game I've ever played. Uh, More than Resident Silent Hill Two. Silent Hill Two was psychologically scary. Okay. So, the so, Resident Evils were never really like scary though. They were always jump scared. Yeah, jump, jump scared scary. and, and atmospherically. Scary. Yeah, that, atmospherically, yeah. And the story was creepy. The stories were always creepy and like, oh my god, there's this girl down here who's been in this I, cave. For I mean, months. I'm still scared. I'm scared of every room that you walk into because even just having a zombie in there still freaks me yeah, out. Yeah, you don't know where. They, remember, like when the director's cut came out, they put them in different spots. Yeah. yeah. And you're like, what the heck? Yeah, it made you scared again, mm -hmm. but. Resident Evil 7 is more like um, fear. It's a lot. There's jump scares, there's atmosphere, yeah. there's like just the setting. It, it's like really, aliens isolation. And, and there's something else that I don't want to give away Ooh. that's there's a guy sort of like the tyrant that thing coming back. Yeah. And so that's a scary like there's always something chasing you and you don't know what's going on. Is there like back. a zombie type of enemy in this, like a grunt that you fight off? I don't want to give it away. It's different than Is the that the one with the Evil's. house in the cabin, right? The, by the way, this re this Resident Evil is more like Silent Hill than any other Resident Evil. Oh, is that the one with the watch and your the first person view and you're with the family in the house? This is yeah, this Resident Evil. There is a well that part no, no, no. I've already given away, so I don't want to give away more. Oh, okay, should, you shouldn't know because it's it's a big part of the story. Oh yeah, don't, I don't say. I kind of want to I want to play it. It's on well, PC I mean, too, or, or well, I guess I, I can play it on PlayStation. PC. What what I said was just basically what you could read on the overview of the game on the back. Exactly, but yeah. even that, I would just say just go in without knowing anything because it's. Yeah, I don't know anything about it. I just like I didn't even know because the beginning opens up with his wife, the girl. I was like, oh, I didn't even know because I oh, had no yeah, idea yeah, yeah. That's, what's that's, his mission. I don't know why he was there. I didn't even know it was in Louisiana. Doesn't that remind you of Resident Evil? I mean, sorry, uh, yeah. Silent Hill right off the bat. Like Silent Hill right off the bat, where yes. it's, like it's the first like... video she sends is all happy, and the second one's all. Because honestly, is there any connection to Resident Evil in this game? Yeah, there is, but oh, it's not okay. a big deal. It could be, you can make yeah. it. I felt like this could have been a totally different IP. Like, it didn't even have to be Resident Evil. Yeah, you, you could have slapped something else on this and called it the Spirits of the Oobly Forest and yeah. it would have still worked. <laughs> well, isn't but... that people like PT and Silent Hill? Yeah, you could have done that. With, with... What is PT? Playable PT trailer. Was the the demo that was supposed to be a Silent Hill eventually that got canceled? It was a Kojima version of Silent Hill. Yeah. Because okay. I always hear that and I, I remember that, but I, ne I, I don't. I, like, I didn't hear about enough of any, both of them to put them together. Let me see if I can find it. There's this like autistic dude on on YouTube who breaks down Silent Hill and PT and all that stuff, and he seriously figured out well, not just him, a bunch of people doing research that PT really is Kojima bitching at um Konami. Uh, Konami. Uh -huh. The dates coincide with when we. Oh, there's like him. lots of little hidden things, Easter eggs yeah. put in there. Yeah. Oh. Um, have you guys, uh, and have you guys played Evil Within series? Oh, what is that? No, but I heard it's good, though. That was, wasn't that one of the Resident Evil directors? Yeah, it is. It yeah. I, I watched some Let's Plays of it. How, what, it's, it's, it's very more, uh, more action, right? More RE4, or is it? I, I would put, yeah, I guess I would put it in RE4. I'm trying to think what RE4 was. Mm, that's the one with the... Leon. 
with Leon. a girl, huh? The president's daughter or something like that? Exactly. Yeah, Ashley. Okay. Um, but I know it looks very gory and it's very... Yeah, it's very gory. I would I would put it between there and dead space. Not dead space as an action, but the type of ambiance, kind of. Because like, isn't it like you have like demons possessing you, you can pull them out to attack or something? Double within? Is that what it's about? Oh, you roll within. I'm sorry, not double within. Double within. I start. I played Bloodborne. That's fine. Uh, it looks really I, nice. I, just, I love the setting. The, I like watching the gameplay of all those dark, Souls-like games. But it's very. I mean, it's a Souls-like, but I think it's it's on the easier side of all the other. Yeah. Well, Souls. that's why I want to get Hell Point because they they said it's like the poor man. It's 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 basically of Dark Souls on easy. You know, What's space, it called? Space in the space station. No, but for us, Juno, tell us about the the PS5. Give us your 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 first thoughts. It's good. I think it's just a little overwhelming because I'm just downloading a lot of it and playing lots of just like the openings of lots of different games. Just to sort of so the it. only PS5 like PS5 game though you've played so far is is Astro's um, Playroom. Astro's Playroom. Oh, you didn't even grab Miles Morales, huh? No, because I wanted to wait. Uh, okay. At the place that so, play. but Astro's Playroom. So, how does that? Does it look feel next gen? It looks really nice. I mean, it's huge areas and like the full cool part. I played the main hub until you get to the four different worlds. And, and there's no load. Like you just push start and it just goes well, in. Yesterday when I played it, because I wasn't connected to the internet, there was some load, but then there's an update that helped up the load speed. Okay. Made it much more noticeable, quick loads. And but no, the we'll... fun, especially with the it does a good job with the the sound and the triggers. Be able to feel all the different like spring loads and, and oh yeah you know, so how's those feel? adaptive triggers feel do you feel like it's gonna break no i don't feel like it's gonna break be careful with it if you squeeze too hard no i don't i didn't feel that at all i feel like I just <laughs> that's what happens when, I, when i'm in the bathroom that's what it feels like sometimes <laughs> are the side panels on that thing is it is it plastic can they come off like do they need to be there they can come off they're removable they are yeah they're uh, well, the way they take apart, the easiest thing that comes off is those sides. Huh. So you can just have like that black, weird you thing in the middle. The lights to light up on it. But I mean, I never played very much of the PlayStation Four, so I'm not used to the the little middle track button thing. Oh, okay. So I keep remembering, like sometimes in Astros, it tells you like, "Hey, now fling it up from here." So like, oh, you okay, you physically like depending on the triggers, like the stuff that you're using it for, it'll be more resistance and less resistance. Yeah, or like oh. there's one part that you get inside this machine, and it's like a spring. So you have to hold it down to charge yourself up to jump off the spring, and you can uh -huh. feel like it winding up as you hold it down. Really? Like How's the vibration? Like, the, is it like HD rumble? Like, just very. It's see, and also since I never played PlayStation Four, I'm not used to the um, speaker inside the. Oh uh, yeah. The controller, so because I never did PlayStation Four generation much, so that's always really surprising is to hear all the sound coming from the controller. But well, yeah. uh, Switch yeah, does it too. Well, Switch does it with their Rumble. The Rumble actually makes. And I always play my Switch in handheld mode, so I get the sound already there. Yeah. From it together. And you don't get as much of the HD Rumble in handheld. I mean, you have to have those Joy Cons in your hands. Well, you played one, two Switch. Yeah. You had to count the marbles and milk the cows. Play that again. So you guys know that the um how how the triggers work? Have you seen the breakdown of yeah. it? Yeah. It's basically a um, a screw, like a, a plastic screw, that's um, attached to a gear, and it the gear and when you squeeze the trigger, it rolls that screw up and down. So when the motor activates, you squeeze the trigger. You're trying to pull that screw down, and the screw's screwing the other way to create the tension. You guys, can you picture that? No. <laughs> <laughs> it it it, it, is, it looks weird. I, I watched it on um. Fun ways okay. and, on how it's made. Oh no, no, he brought he took it apart and everything, took the whole thing apart and was like, "Okay, this is how it is." There's a bunch of plastic in here, plastic gears. He's all, "I don't know, I'm scared. I have big hands and I'm strong." And oh, the it, trigger part where he's talking yeah, about the, yeah, the responsive trigger. So yeah, it's like you as you squeeze the trigger, there's a screw in there that's yeah. screwing up at the same time, trying to apply that pressure on the, the gear. gear. If you've ever seen a screw gear, I think yeah. Oh, okay. And and so the gears. It's going up the screw wall, and so that that brings up the tension of it. Yeah, and, uh, it's actually quite 
simple but works you know yeah Very simple but but yeah. I'm, I'm just afraid of all that plastic and you're pushing against it i mean i know yeah what do you feel like the long shooter yeah I, longevity I like long term like lemon huh like how how, much, how long is it gonna last like how yeah the yeah. durabel i mean we already got what nintendo has their joycon drift so playstation is going to have their trigger lock or I think it's called tr trigger lock. That's what I'm calling it, trigger lock. He, he just you coined it now, trigger locks. Yeah, because it's gonna squeeze it down. It's gonna the tri it's gonna break the um, the screw, and then it's gonna lock into that position, or and it just won't be able to squeeze anymore. But that's just that's just a theory. I I, I have nothing. And that's just to the back theory. it up with. Interesting. You guys ever watch Jim Jeffries on Netflix? Never. He's a comedian. He's too Catholic. He's too Catholic? No, he's a Catholic. He's usually pretty clean with his comedy. Jim Jeffries? Jeffries? Yeah, he's not like he's not like the worst, but no, no I think you're talking about a different guy. Isn't he the pale guy? No, no, no. This is Jim Australian Gaffer? dude. Gaffigan? You're oh, thinking Gaffigan. of Gaffigan. Gaffigan. He's the clean one, yeah. I'm thinking Gaffigan. Oh, Jim is... Jaspers is a mutant that's Omega Jim... level and he can create realities. <laughs> no, Jim I Jeffers is not clean. He, he's not like the worst, but he's He's pretty I... bad still, but he's so funny. <laughs> if you guys ever get a chance to check him out, he's got a couple specials on Netflix. I am very mute when it comes to comedians. I, I, there's only so many that I find funny, and they have to be unique. And they're pun. I, I just the, like check out this guy just because the, the, his voice and his delivery and his he's just a funny guy. You might like. You guys probably think that like. Um, Name some stand-ups back in our day in the nineties. Um, Arsenio Hall. Arsenio Hall, not funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what was it? Um, uh, what's, what's his name? Eddie Murphy. He wasn't a good stand-up. I just didn't get behind his stand-up. Even Chris Tucker. Richard Pryor. Like Chris Rock. I, Richard oh. Pryor. I did not like his stand-up. Now Bill Cosby. I love me. I had records. No, of Bill, Bill Cosby is hilarious. So here you go. When you get a chance tonight. Eddie. Yeah, look look up know. Jim Jeffries, his newest special. I think it's from like a year or two ago. The first like 25 minutes is dedicated to Bill Cosby. <laughs> so you'll just watch it just for the Bill Cosby, Teddy. See if you like. It's funny because he, he did a bit where he was, uh, you know, he's talking about Bill Cosby and the raping and, the and, you know, and he got a bunch of angry letters and people protesting him. It's like, I'm just making jokes about, you know, the raping. I don't, you know. If you guys feel like going home and raping, please do not rape. You know, I don't condone the raping. So, yeah, but you know who, which com comedian did not have people protesting outside of his shows? <laughs> Bill Cosby. <laughs> they came for his clean, nice comedy, and then he raped people. <laughs> so well, it's like, it's kind of funny. Plays, he plays this, like, responsible dad. Yeah. Like, very clean. Well, but it's so funny how, but the, he's making that point how... He's, yeah, you know, he's crazy. a, he's yeah. a controversial comic, but he right. doesn't do anything bad in his life and he gets right. protests. And right. here's Bill Cosby, who's had this secret hidden life, but he had clean comedy. So everybody liked him. <laughs> what was the other guy who was like that? Um, he, he did on, um, family, uh, with the twins, Oshlin, Ashley. Oh and... yeah. Bob Saget. Bob he's Saget. really Everybody's dirty. seen him. And even before oh, he played on that dirty, show, yeah. a lot of people didn't know him that he was this. He he was one of the dirtiest people yeah. in the world, and he, he, the first time I saw him was on Full House. And I was like, nah, not, not not a good. And then after Full House, he just went all ham back into his original yeah. stuff, and I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> What's the his name? Scary. Tim Tim Allen. Before he did like Home Improvement, he was like hosting like like nudie shows, like <laughs> girls playing like volleyball topless or something. Like that. That's how he like got his start. Was like a host. Nice. Then he got this. Then he got this uh, sitcom, family sitcoms. <laughs> All right. If they have any what? Easter eggs in, in in any of the episode that refers to that, and you just have to know. <laughs> they reference back to his old shows. Yeah. His old job. They're probably walking by about somebody playing volleyball, or um, what's it? Mr. Wilson knocked the volleyball over the. <laughs> over the... <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it was volleyball. It's like I haven't seen him. I just know he was hosting. Like he shows hosted like that. Um, Dead or Alive volleyball. Team. There you go. Those are great games, classics. Actually, the old ones were fun. I used to. I like Dead or Alive too. The I physics think. were the best thing about it. They were. They had good physics, but the fighting was fun. 
first two. Oh, there was fighting in it? Yes. Oh. And the, I think that was one of the first games that had like the multi um, arenas, right? Where you can go through different arenas. Yeah, where you can smash them and bump back them yeah. into another area. Well, no. Um, they were one of the first, if not the one first. One of the first, yeah. Because Killer Instinct had theirs too. <gasps> Killer Instinct did? Yeah. No, did it? Yeah, because on the Orca stage, you can knock them down and fight at the bottom. Oh. I believe. Or was it just a finishing move? Should, we should uh, do a Yeah, kill. no, you you knocked them down. They went through like a flying car, and then you fought on the bottom on the, on the uh, ground. I honestly haven't played the old Killer Instinct in years. I should I It's know. good. Is it still good? Does it's it still broken, hold up? But it's good. Yeah, it's still good. We should have a tournament. It yeah. feels better to play than that than Killer Instinct 3, in my opinion. Really? Because Killer Instinct 3 is just a Street Fighter the, ripoff. Uh, yeah. the, the original Killer Instinct, though, PC? I mean, like, uh, like Gold? A MAME? Gold, I guess, was better or, than uh, the Super Nintendo. Well, no, I mean, like, the arcade The one. arcade one? It still yeah. plays better than... Yeah, it's actually... It just is very responsive, and still, it looks kind of... It has very 90s look, but it's still... The scrolling of the of the levels and stuff, it looks yeah. good. I haven't, you know, and all I can remember that game is in like an awesome looking. I don't remember how like muddy it was because when you're a kid and you're you know you're looking at the box art and you're referring back to that all the time, you think the character on the screen, which is a bunch of pixels, looks exactly like the guy on the box. So you didn't, uh, yeah. but like I don't know. I would have to go back and play and be like, oh my god, this is I've aged. <laughs> well, I mean, what. One of the things I liked about the first Killer Instinct were the animations were actually very dynamic, like the poses, um, and very good. But for what they could do at the time, yeah. And when they made Killer Instinct three, they made them all bland and boring. And it was like, dude, why are you guys making these moves? These iconic moves look like shit. Or take them out. Well, even like, fur further up the line, they made the combo system so cheaper. Well, the first one when you had a combo system, they went through the series of their moves repetitively yeah on when they after they after the next installations of the other games it was just spin 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 hit spin spin and i was like saber saber tooth or saber wolf it was nothing <laughs> like he was in the first one and i just I, I i didn't like the combos after that the combos were just i mean yeah. they could just, it, it, they went re they just went really low with the combos and up the graphics and that just so oh. Yeah, they just they focused on poly count and materials and it yeah. really ray tracing. <laughs> just <laughs> didn't. like we were talking about it before with what's her name, Bjorkit. She doesn't transform into. Yeah. Oh, the new ones. She doesn't. No. You no, can't because that's too hard to do in a full 3D. Uh, um, I mean, they could have had her go down in and sort of like a bear run and have yeah. an outline of a cat around her. There is ways to do it, I think, yeah. where you can turn her render immediately into a 2d object and you could you could start um how would you say it like when you're doing a transfer you know like so it, it fakes it morph but you okay could, yeah better than not as good as the old one because the old one was actually a true morphing yeah it was i remember but... that well i mean they had cinders cinders like he was the easiest guy to play with and <laughs> my favorite character because all you have to do is back forward, yeah, back, forward back forward back forward back forward up and down forward, forward. that's yeah. me and yeah. that's me and hawaiing on tekken 3 just push the kick button yeah. over and over and over again yeah, yeah. him and 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 Eddie uh, Goro. Eddie Goro. oh yeah. my they were the cheapest <laughs> most yeah. ooh, and they just i missed they, tekken oh. 3 I actually we played quite a bit of it we were playing joseph and his, you played martial law right me? No, Joe. Joseph Susan. Joseph, yeah, yeah, I did. He was yeah. martial law. That was a fun yeah, game. I was always King or yeah. Nina or Zhao Zhaolin. She was hard to play. She, she had the I different stances, because, like, right? She had the two stances. One of her stances uh, automatically was a duck, so they couldn't high kick you. And But the, uh, the thing about her, one of the, her, that second stance, which is the crab stance or something like that, uh, Eddie Guerrero would just whip her butt. That Me. was that was the first and only real 3D game that I liked. 3D fighting game. Whoa, Soul Calibur. Soul Calibur, I couldn't. I know yeah. you and you and Level were into Soul Calibur, huh? Well, it was awesome at first because it had um, the stage with the grass. It yeah, like that's what sold it. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, whoa, that is awesome. It's like um, Street Fighter, 
the animation where they're fighting on the grass with Saget. <laughs> yeah. And, and I was like, they, well, if only they did that in 3D, and and you finally saw it. So that was cool, I thought. But fighting wise, it was like not a weapon fighter that I liked. I don't know how to explain it. Like yeah. I prefer more like Samurai Showdown, where the weapons hurt and do lots of damage, so you're scared. Yeah. Or Weapon Lord. You guys remember Weapon Lord? Yeah. Do you remember Bushido Blade? Yes. One hit kills you. Bushido Blade. Yeah. You can hit your arm. Blade. Yeah. Bushido Blade. It was like I wish there was more to it. Yeah. Um, but that was an awesome idea. It wasn't it's only one hit kills, though, was it? Bushido Blade? No, like you can get hit in the arm, I think, and then you yeah you only have some moves left. Yeah, you, can yeah, you lose the arm. You can lose the yeah. other arm. And if you lose, like you at the beginning of the level, you could lose a, a head. What was the other game that was like that? Weapon Lord. Weapon Lord you can cut off arms. Yeah, because oh, yeah, okay that, now yeah when you say that now I remember yeah and then like you get the beginning of the game you can say ready start and then you can do a move cut off somebody's head and that's game over yeah what what was that one I think was it a thirty two bit game that one really creepy game that got canceled that was super famous it was um well, a fighter yeah it was a fighter game that was yeah, supposed... it was on PlayStation one yeah. Okay. What's it called? Thrill Kill, wasn't it? Thrill, yeah. Thrill Kill. And if you look at it now, it is nothing. It is not a big deal at all. <laughs> it's it's really tame. It's but I mean... incredibly tame. I mean, there are certain things in there that I think they could have easily edited out and sold the game. Oh, yeah. But, so yeah. what was the big controversy? It was like a girl. Pretty it was much. like a nurse, right? Like He rides them like a... Like yeah. Uh, like a dominatrix stuff. Okay. There's a Thrill Kill. All... Oh, and that takes a long time to show, but there's all the... um fatalities you can see them all online oh yeah oh they had fatalities oh. like mortal Kombat. yeah oh, there's, 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 there's that. dances yeah i see that there's yeah. there are videos like there's this guy that i'm sure the games right you can get what the game happened? now right he's saying how it got banned or oh. why it got never got released uh, is there some youtube videos for it? i'm sure there are for like documentaries yeah gore wise it's not a big deal at all uh. but it was like um Stuff in there like like he shows here like handicapped people doing things. Yeah, that's right, right? Because it had like people with disabilities and stuff, right? Yeah, and there's like yeah. sodomy in it, but it, there's nothing really happening. Uh, but just suggested. Yeah. <laughs> but it was. I think at the yeah, the you. time too was very. It was a hot mod, <laughs> hot, no hot coffee mod all over again. Yeah, I think the political climate at the time was was too hot for that too, right? It was the night. Well, was it nineties? Yeah, it was nineties. Yeah, it was nineties. Um, nineties was like the opposite of today. Yeah. So it was like you couldn't have blood, like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I can't believe how gory modern Mortal Kombat's are. I put a link there. You can see it's like it's a short video where it shows some stuff. Okay. Yeah, when you came on, Teddy, what was those sounds coming out of your microphone? Were you watching TV? No, I had my headphones on, but I didn't have my speaker, my, my microphone. And so it was picking up my headphone noise through my headphone mic. Oh, but I didn't have my boom mic on. Oh, I see, I see. I had, there's a mic that I can attach to my headset mm -hmm. and I can unattach it. I had it unattached and the headset still has a microphone on there so I could use it without. But with it, if my headphones... So it was a very loud, live like mic. It was picking up everything. Yeah. Okay. Hot mic, hot mic. Mm -hmm. That was my nickname in high school. It was from the NPR thing from what's the what's what the on Saturday Night Live? Uh, Sound like a bunch of horses. <laughs> All righty. Yeah. Well, thank you everyone for listening. <laughs> Thanks for the. Uh, we'll say goodbye to uh, Scatter Scatter Brain. I don't know what we're gonna call it. And that's it for Scattercast. Scatter, scatter. Scatter, scatter splatter. Cast. Splattercast. Scattercast. Scatter chatter. Scatter chatter. There you go. <laughs> scatter chatter. That kind of rolls off the tongue. Yeah. So there was some. It was uh, pretty scattered. With uh, make sure we don't want anybody. Do anybody scatter. want to um, plug yeah. anything? Well, you have your own um, channels, uh, Teddy. I'm just the odious, um, and you have your uh, Instagram. I uh, have, I don't know any of my Instagram. 
I'm I'm gonna have to make one and dedicate it for what we're doing here and, yeah. and stuff like that. So Well we are at Scatterbrain S T because for some reason it took away the rest of the letters, so it could be Scatterbrain Studios. So oh that's our Twitter handle. I don't think we have an Insta. Instapot. Instapot, yes. All right. And uh so that's it for Scatter Chatter. <laughs> All right. Scatter, scatter Chatter. Scatter Chatter. Scatter Cast. Scatter Cast.